For decades, Africa's economic narrative has been shaped by raw material exports, agriculture and informal markets. Progress has been steady, but limitations in manufacturing, infrastructure and capital markets have held back sustained productivity. Yet beneath these structural constraints, a silent digital transformation was underway. Over 600 million Africans gained internet access, mobile money systems turned Kenya into a global fintech model, and a young tech-native population began reshaping consumption and innovation patterns. Meanwhile, when generative AI burst onto the global stage, Africa did not wait. Unlike previous industrial revolutions that arrived late and unevenly, this time, AI was seen as a strategic opportunity, not merely to automate tasks, but to bypass traditional development pathways and enter the digital economy on new terms. By 2024, approximately 40% of African companies and institutions had begun experimenting with generative AI. These were not abstract pilots. In Kenya, AI-powered education platforms began delivering personalized learning directly to students. In South Africa, financial institutions used AI to refine credit scoring models and manage risk for small businesses. Language AI models emerged that could translate Africa's 2,000 plus languages, improving cross-border communication and easing regional trade. What had once been theoretical quickly became practical. AI was no longer just a technological experiment. It became a tool of economic competitiveness. From there, AI adoption spread across industries. In finance, AI-powered credit risk models allowed banks and fintechs to evaluate borrowers with no traditional credit history, while automated compliance tools reduced fraud and regulatory risk. In retail and telecommunications, AI optimized inventory systems, forecasted demand, and handled millions of customer interactions through intelligent chatbots, reducing operating costs. In agriculture, AI helped monitor crops, predict yields, and optimize farm inputs, especially for commodities such as tea, coffee, and cocoa. Healthcare startups began using AI to analyze x-rays and detect diseases in areas where radiologists are scarce. Collectively, these examples demonstrated a simple truth. AI's value in Africa lies not just in innovation, but in the scalability of its economic impact. Still, progress faces constraints. Infrastructure remains a major barrier. Unreliable electricity limits the viability of local data centers, while high-speed internet remains uneven, especially outside urban areas. Advanced computing infrastructure, essential for AI model training, is largely located outside the continent, raising both costs and questions of data sovereignty. Meanwhile, Africa has strong AI talent, but much of it migrates abroad due to limited opportunities or funding at home. Regulatory uncertainty also presents risk. With few African governments offering clear policies on AI governance, data protection, or algorithmic accountability, businesses are often cautious about heavy investment, and citizens express rising concerns about privacy, bias, and misuse. What becomes clear is that Africa cannot simply import AI. It must build an ecosystem around it. This includes investing in digital infrastructure such as cloud services, broadband networks, and energy systems capable of supporting compute-heavy operations. It means advancing regulatory frameworks that encourage innovation while enforcing ethical use and data protection. It requires mobilizing capital, particularly from development finance institutions, sovereign wealth funds, and private investors to support AI startups and infrastructure projects and it demands collaboration between governments, telecommunications providers, universities and technology firms to train local talent and foster research capacity. Today, Africa's AI journey has moved beyond early optimism 
to tangible economic relevance. AI is beginning to reshape banking, logistics, education and retail with measurable productivity gains. Policymakers in countries like Rwanda, Nigeria, Egypt and South Africa are positioning AI as part of broader industrial policy and digital transformation strategies. Investors are no longer asking if AI has a place in Africa, but rather where its highest returns will come from. The road ahead is not guaranteed. If Africa succeeds in aligning infrastructure, regulation, financing and human capital, generative AI could help solve some of its most persistent challenges, from financial exclusion and healthcare gaps to agricultural inefficiency and education quality. AI would not replace Africa's workforce, but enhance it, amplifying human capital rather than substituting it. But if these foundations are ignored, AI could become just another global shift Africa watches rather than leads. Right now, the continent stands at a pivotal moment. Unlike past revolutions, Africa is participating in this one in real time. AI is no longer just about technology. It is about competitiveness, sovereignty, and the future of economic growth. And for the first time, Africa is not simply adopting innovation. It is shaping it to reflect its own realities, languages, markets, and ambitions. For more intelligence on Africa's economy, finance, and capital markets, follow at Spotlight in Africa.